Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial, we're going to set up our first Express server. Now, all Express is is basically a web framework for Node.js. So in the previous tutorials, we used the HTTP and file system module in order to serve static files. With Express, however, you can see that we can accomplish that and much more with much less code. So to get started, I'm just going to go over to Chrome. And here is Express.js's official website. So you can see up here that they have guides for you. You could reference the API. And basically, this is just a documentation for Express. And you can see that they give install instructions here. Now, if you didn't go to the official website or you didn't know that they had an official website, you probably would have went to mpmjs.com. The Express is a publicly available package for you to download and install. And you would have just typed Express within the search bar here. So I'm just going to head back to Visual Studio Code. And the first thing that we need to do is actually create our package.json. So I'm just going to say npm init. And I'm going to pass in the flag yes. Now, when you pass in the flag yes, you basically skip all these configuration questions that they ask you when you type npm init. So now that we have our package.json, we can actually install Express itself. So I'm just going to type npm install Express. You can see that is downloading right now. And now from here, let's actually require Express.js into our project. So I'm just going to say const Express is equal to require Express. Now, when I require this module, this express module, what I'm getting back is a function. So I'm just going to call that function. So I'm just going to say express. And this function is going to return an object. And this object is going to have a bunch of methods that we can use within our application. So let's store this object within a variable. And by convention, we would call that variable app. So I'm just going to say app is equal to express. Now from here, what I can do is call a method called get. Now the first argument of get is going to take the route. So we're just going to say forward slash. And then the second argument is going to be the callback function. And it's going to be request and response. And then all we're going to do is say res.send hello world. So this is going to be our first application using Express. So when the user visits the route forward slash, what we're going to do is send a response of hello world. And that with a semicolon. And then the last step that we need to do is actually give it a port to listen to. So I'm just going to say app dot listen. And we're just going to listen on port 3000. So now if I was to save this, type node app and that's going to run the server head over to chrome now i'm just going to open a new tab and i'm just going to type local host 3000 and there you go this is our first express js application and you can see that we got a response of hello world and in the upcoming tutorials we're going to dive deeper into the express web framework.